our life. All right, hello everyone. I hope everyone is having a good time with this Mega Man X block, and we are gonna we're going to finish this block with Mega Man X Eight. Uh, actually, the the final X game ever released to this day. Unfortunately, until the date of this marathon, we haven't we we're yet to see X Nine. So this is the latest X game. So uh, yeah, for who. Everyone who's familiar with, like, X7, uh, this game actually improves a lot of things from the original game, and... Uh, so, without further ado, let's get the run going. There, there's three difficulties in this game, by the way, and uh, there's a lot of differences between them. I don't think it's really worth to mention any of them. Harder and easy is basically basically cuts the final boss entirely from the game. So, okay, let's start a timer. The timer starts when I choose the difficulty. So in three, two, one, go. All right, let's just match some dialogue here. Uh, kind of following the what X7 did. Uh, this game is very cinematic. You know, it, it is a PlayStation game, so they wanted to make sure that. It was as cinematic as possible, and X7 was like that, and then X8 as well. But luckily, we can skip every bit of dialogue in this game. So, starting up, we have the intro stage. We're gonna dash past those bees right here. We don't wanna hit them, because we're gonna lose time if we do. And something really good about X8 is that we can literally charge while we shoot. Which is really good. It, it's kinda useful. In this particular boss fight here because we can like we can basically hold the charge while we shoot the boss with, like with normal ammo so and that's pretty much the mini boss so now we're gonna play as axel and axel in this game uh he he can shoot in all directions since this game is not actually 3d this game is 2.5d uh, they decided to, after X7, they just decided to go back to the 2D formula entirely. So, yeah, this game plays more like a the traditional Mega Man X game. And they they kept the double system in this game. The partner system, actually. Uh, and they also improved the system quite a lot. Uh, whenever you take damage in this game, if you swap your partner, you can actually get some health back. If your partner deals damage. So it's it's really interesting. And also this is one of the few instances that we are gonna be seeing the double attack. There is a specific button that we can press. When the when, you see that that bar on the on the left side there? When it's full, we can actually use a special attack that is a full screen attack. However, this attack takes a lot of time, so we don't use it that often. Actually, we don't use it at all during the run. This is actually the only time that we have to use it, because that boss has a lot of HP. And the game kind of forces us to do that. So uh, Now we have uh, an enemy gauntlet. Uh, this game is... This is very common in this game, by the way. There is a lot of enemy gauntlets that we have to fight specific enemy hordes and stuff this one is bees we have to just kill a specific number of bees and then we can pretty much progress uh, now we're gonna we're gonna go back to the classic duo x and zero and we're gonna face the boss so we're just gonna jump over here a little bit of a mega man x2 reference here with the climbing Kinda of good to see how this game like has a lot of good references to the old game. So now coming up, we have one of the hardest bosses in the game. So pay a lot of attention to this boss fight. It's very technical. Uh, if you blink, you're gonna miss all the attack that is that there is in this boss fight. So we're gonna charge. We wanna release the charge. Then we charge again. You release the charge. And yeah, very technical. Uh, that, that's basically it. Uh, it, it. It's a 
very easy boss. There we go. That was the crab. And then actually this is this is probably the easiest boss in this game to do with one hand. Like you can single hand this boss fight quite easily. So now we finished the boss. We are now heading up to Manowar. And whoever played this game casually, uh I think uh this is probably everyone like least favorite stage and even in the speedrun this is not a very fun stage to play because there is a lot of rng and if you do a single mistake in this stage you're never gonna catch up with men of war again so uh, you need to do a very good execution of the level uh, and you saw that i didn't got any of the navigators right and the reason i do that is because you don't want navigators at all and the navigators are actually pointless in this run because the only thing that they can do for us is to tell us where the items are or give us specific hints in the stages and it actually wastes time so we don't want that so now i got a little bit of better luck there uh he threw, he threw a couple bombs on me so it's gonna be a little bit hard for me to catch up here Uh, also, what we need to be careful in this stage is the cars. Uh, the cars can actually hit you. And... Oh, that's not good. Uh, I, I call it. Okay. Just a couple more hits. So, yeah. I'm, I'm about to do some really different strat right here. Uh, I cannot use zero at all in this boss fight. Zero is... Hero is really hurt right now, so uh, I'm gonna just play it safe and I'm gonna use X for most of the fight. So yeah, uh, unfortunately, we got a little bit, a little bit of bad luck there, but it's not a big deal. Just marathon luck in general it happens. So, yeah, I'm gonna use zero here. Because I actually can. Okay, let's swap to X. Just for safety. Uh, normally, we will have full health in this boss fight and we can just damage tank the boss. But unfortunately, I did lose a lot of health during the, during the run, so... I gotta be a little bit careful here. Okay. Not good. Okay, that, there we go. <laughs> That boss fight is re can be really scary. But we, we did it. We did it. So we got past one of the hardest bosses in the game. So I'm happy with it. I I'm totally happy with it. So now we got Thunder Dancer. And the reason that we face this boss early is because we need thunder dancer to light up the next stage which is dark mantis stage there is a secret item in dark mantis that is super broken and but first things first i'm gonna upgrade zero's health right here because zero uh he, he was a little bit squishy <clears throat> at the beginning of the game so we want to make sure that we can give zero some health so he can take so he can tank things and also health really helps in this boss fight because this boss fight is, it can be a really can be a huge pain so anyway we want to start the level playing as zero and yeah uh in this game we don't actually play as x that's that much very much like in x6 uh, yeah if you guys watched x6 Zero is super broken in that game, and so is him in this one. And Zero, uh, we can we can actually get a a glaive that deals a lot of damage and has a really long range. I'm just gonna kill this jump right here. 
Get some health here. Uh, I want to be careful with the lights here. There are some lights here that they are on a local cycle. So, I want to do a very specific movement here. So I can actually... Okay, that, okay, that was pretty close. So now I'm going to transform. And then I'm going to... I'm going to call this guy here. That way he opens the door. We kill him. And we bring back the energy. In the level. So we want to shoot this thing with electricity. And that will bring back the energy. And the only reason that we want to do that. Is because that is the only way that we have to... To get an item on top of the level. You see the, those platforms up here? They are not going to spawn if we don't have the lights on. So we want to make sure that we have the lights on to get this item. This is the blade. And if you don't have Axo, you can't get this item. Because the only way you can get that item, the only way that you can actually turn on the lights is by getting the upgrade, getting the Reploid. You, gotta, you need to transform in, uh, into the Reploid and then you open the door. If you cannot do that, you can't get the item in. Your run is pretty much dead at this point. Right, I'm gonna damage boost on this little guy right there. His knockback is actually really far away, so... It's actually really useful. Gonna use a right coast in here just to dash past, past those two last guys. We don't really have to fight them. They're just chilling right there. Uh, so, now we have Dark Mantis. Dark Mantis is a really fun fight to do when you do it correctly. There's a couple different stress that you can do. Although the one that I'm more comfortable with is actually this one. That it just jump slash, but you can actually single, you can like combo slash him in the ground. And also sometimes he shoots those arrows. And there's much we can do about it. It's all RNG. Kind of why I wanted to grab that health before the level. So we can actually play safe. But normally, uh, most of the top runs, uh, they don't really grab this item at all. You don't really grab health early in the game. But it's mostly a safe strat. <laughs> But that was Dark Mantis, so now we're heading to Antonion. And the thing about X, the X8 is that if we didn't really care too much about boss weakness at like X6, in X8 is kind of the same. We don't really have to worry too much about boss weaknesses. Uh, okay, I, I missed the... I almost missed the glaive there. Oof. Yeah, the, the game is in Japanese and I... I For some reason, my muscle memory was like... Uh, uh, do I need to do something or should I just buy another health? I bought only another health and then I was like... I have to do something, right? And yeah. Uh, there's also an item shop in this game. Which... It's kind of cool, really. There's a lot of items that you can buy. However, most of the items that you buy are actually items that you collected yourself in the level, which is kind of strange. But that's kind of how this game rolls. You need to unlock the item before buying it. It's kind of similar to Mega Man X. Not, not Mega Man X. Mega Man... Mega Man 7, actually. Actually, in 7, you don't really have to. Uh, what am I saying? I, I don't actually remember. But anyway, uh, I'm just gonna... Ash here. There's a border in those boxes that you can actually jump into. So... It's not very difficult to do those jumps. Uh, I just need to be a little bit careful with my health right here. Uh, we coming up we have Va we have Vava. We are gonna fight Vava three times in this run. 
And all the levels that he show up is actually manipulated. He only shows up after a specific interval of levels. So having Vava here is actually faster because normally you have to play uh, like a mini game with spike boxes and that those spike boxes are not very fun to deal with. So now I'll be a little bit careful there. I'm a little bit low on health. I hope I can get a drop or something. I mean, I can still fight the boss even with this health, but I need to be a little bit more safe. But it should be okay. It, it definitely should be. There isn't much that it can go wrong in this boss fight here. Uh, so now we're gonna see why the spear is broken in this game. We have a lot of range. And on top of that, we can also double hit. Oh my god, okay, that was not good RNG. So yeah, I'm just gonna have to casually play the boss fight basically. Because he decided to give me a bad RNG. So yeah, it, it is what it is. It is what it is. But yeah, let's just chill and enjoy this this attack here. Uh, that's actually a thing in X8. Unfortunately, there isn't much you can do about bosses attacks when they do the special attacks. Just have to wait until they do their animation. Oh! Ah, oh, come on. He had to stop right there. Okay, that was kind of unfortunate. Well, it's not the end of the world, but it's gonna be almost a minute time loss, I think. So, at least I got a chance to do this boss fight properly. Yeah, that definitely never happened before. So, okay, we're gonna do, a, do some damage to him. That's actually a really good pattern so far. There go. Now, now you see how fast this is. I was a kind of unlucky death there, but it happened. There we go. That's the boss. Really quick. Yeah, I, I did say that. I kind of jinxed myself a little bit, right? I, I said that nothing could go wrong in this boss fight and something went wrong so uh, I, I guess it, it, there there was something that could go wrong you know <laughs> but there, there we go we, kill, we, we, we beat Antonio on first try first try with zero no big deal it's all over so now we're gonna we're heading to the next stage Oops, not this one. This one. So, also, a little bit of platform difference, by the way. Uh, although the category is actually stated in the schedule that I'm that is PlayStation 2, I'm actually playing this game on the PlayStation 2 Classic version on the on the PS3. Uh, this game actually released on the Japanese PSN only. And this version is a little bit faster than the PS2, than the original PS2 version. Because there's the loads are a little bit more consistent and there's a little bit less lag in the other version. Also this level right here, uh, we're gonna fly a little bit. There is another stretch, uh, another strat that you can actually fly all over the level. But sometimes I have the feeling that actually playing the level is a little bit faster. There's also another strat that you can do in 100% that you use the uh, you use the Mac, but the Mac is I don't think it's really that useful in any percent because you don't really need to carry it. However, there is an interesting kill on the boss that you can do if you have the Mac. You can literally bring the Mac to the boss to the boss of the area and it actually deals a surprisingly big amount of damage. So now 
Now we have more enemy gauntlets. There isn't much we can do here. Just kill some enemies as fast as we can. Also, I didn't talk about one of the best glitches, right? I I've been doing this glitch for a while and I didn't talk about it. Uh, what I'm doing, you see that I'm flying with zero. This is the best glitch in this game. The flying zero glitch. And this is by far one of the most useful glitches in the game. Uh, the way that we do it is we hold... I usually hold down. And then I hold up on my analog stick. Uh, let me see if I can show it. Like this. I don't think I can actually show it. Oh, oh, all right. I, I tried. I tried to show it, but... It's kind of how it works. It's, it's very simple. Also, flying here doesn't save any time. It's just swag. So, this boss fight can go a little bit wrong if the if the panda decides to hug me. You don't want to hug? Don't give me a hug. Oh my god, don't give me a hug. Okay. Yeah, he, he just wanted to give me hugs. Oh my god. Okay, fine. No hugs. Okay, there we go. Not too shabby. That was a really okay RNG. I've seen worse, actually. I I, I somehow managed to die to this boss before and was like full health. So it, it's very easy to mess up in this boss fight. <laughs> but it was pretty good. <clears throat> so now coming up, we have. Probably everyone's least favorite stage. And for a reason, this is literally a big auto scroller. So before anything, I'm gonna get a couple items right here. I'm gonna get this and this. Fair energy and prickle barrier. Because spikes can actually instantly kill you. And one of those items actually protect you from spikes. So just to play it safe. And make sure that we don't die in the spikes in this level as well, because that will actually be... That, that wouldn't be really good. So... Yeah, we have the biggest auto-scroller in the game. Not really, I think actually the, the elevator is bigger, but... There's a cheese here. If you just fly... In the corner of the level... It's like, that's literally everything that we need to do. So it's kind of fun. So we're now going to be basically flying and facing left. Uh, I, I'm going to pay a little bit of attention here because there is going to be something down there. And when I see it, I'm just going to go down, but... There's a really big window to do that, so... It should be okay. Yeah, after... Yeah, that's... After that laser, actually. The laser will go down. We have this... Enemy holding a shield, which unfortunately he he is not a big threat. We just jump over him and it's over. So now I have this this gauntlet here. We just want to stay on this position right here because that will actually kill all of them. But it, it's pretty easy. I want to make sure that I get the health because I I definitely gonna need it later. So. Here's the part that I should be careful to be worrying about, okay? Yeah, this part here can be kind of tricky. So I'm just gonna play it safe. Gonna wait all the, all the time that I can here. Go down here. Okay, that was good enough for a safe but as long as we don't die it should be okay so now i have vava again uh, again we are we're gonna be fighting him right here 
Because it's actually faster than facing the gauntlet. And now I'm gonna switch over to Axel. Because I wanna... I wanna make sure that Zero is fully healed for the upcoming boss. So... I'm just gonna use Axel here. For a while. Until the... Until we have to fight to actually fight the boss. Since this fight right here, since this part right here is actually an auto-scroller, it's not a big deal which character we use here. Also, since we are playing on the PS3, there is no lag in this section here. Normally in the PS3, you can actually lag the game by shooting too many bullets. But in the PS3, it's very hard to do. But yeah, the best way to cheese this part here is to use Axel like this. Because whenever we shoot, Axel is gonna get a little bit of vertical momentum. Like, he's actually gonna lose all his momentum, really. Alright, getting close to the end of the level right here. Gonna make sure I have zero here. And there we go. We're now on the chicken boss fight. And... I should have to get a rooster, but whatever. Uh, so... We wanna do as much damage as we can on him. Until he goes to his second phase. And his second phase is gonna kick the generator on the background there. And here comes a little bit of RNG in this boss fight. Depending on RNG, the pillars are gonna rise or they're gonna stay on place. And if they stay on place, it's actually bad because you can't really use them at all. Also, that was... Got some really bad luck there. He decided to throw more fire on the floor. Well, luckily I had almost full health. Kind of why I wanted to make sure Zero was fully healed for this boss fight. Okay, there we go. Pretty safe fight. So now, if two auto scrollers wasn't enough, we actually have another one. We have three auto scrollers in this level, and this final auto scroller we have to basically run away from the lava. And yeah, that's how it is. Also, I believe if you're playing this game casually, this might be an actual good place to farm some metal metals. Because uh, if you die to the lava, the metals are gonna be respawning. So, yeah, kind of neat. Gonna be careful here because you can actually die in this section if you don't jump properly. There we go, that's the end. <laughs> so, uh, now coming up next, we have a level that you can actually soft lock. So, I'm gonna save the game because we never know. We never know. Actually, I think I do have a save. Actually, which one is saved here? I think that's the one that's saved. Okay, there it is. I'm gonna do a save here. Just to make sure. I did softlocks here before. So, 
Uh, you know, let's just make sure that we don't. Alright, just a safety strat. So, now in the Earthrock level... Uh, normally, there is a big robot chase sequence that we would have to deal with. However, we can fly over the robot hitbox and just go straight to the door. And also, this is the last time that we are facing Pava. So, I'm switching over to X. Because X has a little bit of a... Fa like... He has a little bit more walking speed in this cutscene for some reason. Plus, I also want to make sure that... Zero is at full health. So, now in this... Kind of like mini boss here. We want to hitch... We want to hit the levers. So the crane would actually hit the robot head. Okay, I think that's just one more. Come on. Okay, that was it. So... After we kill the robot, we can just fly over the door and save for a second, basically. So, now in this boss fight here, uh, we want to break his his armor as fast as we can. And then kind of force him into phase 2. Then he can start summoning crystals. Oh, okay, that was... A... Okay, that was not bad. So... Now another attack that we can do anything about it. We just need to dodge. There we go. That was the boss. Pretty quick. I lost a little bit of time because I had to do the backup save, but it's not too big of a deal. Not really that bad. <clears throat> as long as we can make it through, it should be fine. So now coming up, we have the Yeti stage. So, the Yeti stage is definitely one of the most different stages in this game. Remember how... How the Manowar stage was actually a bike uh, rider chase stage in 3D? This level is also the same. And the best strategy that we can do here is swap characters. Because in this level, we have a mechanic that whenever a character is up on the screen, the other character is recharging their dash. So, when we swap characters, we can do, we can dash all the time because there is a cooldown. However, the cooldown is always, it's, it's always charging, even when the character is not being played as. So we can actually exploit that. Okay, that was pretty good actually. No damage. <clears throat> Not that fast, but no damage, so... Pretty fine overall. So, now I have the mini boss here. There's gonna be two of this mini boss. And the first one is a little bit easier. It is actually easy to one cycle. I'm gonna try to go for it. Okay, there we go. That was the one cycle. 
So yeah, the one second in this boss is really, really simple. There isn't really anything... Like, there isn't anything too complicated about this one, about this one cycle. However, the second time that we face him, it's actually gonna be harder. Because the boss is gonna be faster. And a little bit less forgiving in general, too. So here in this section, I like to kind of hug this wall and spam shoot because it, it works most of the time. I mean, most of the time, really. Okay. So we want to be careful with this section here. We don't want to dash when going to that panel, actually. Because that would... That would actually kill us. Because we're gonna we're gonna be so fast that the game wouldn't be able to pick up to keep up. So now I'm gonna switch over to Axe again. Uh, we want to make sure that we have Axe to start up the fights because when we charge, the charge deals free damage, and Zero Saber also deals free damage when he hits. So the best strat here is to start with the charge because there's more range. So we can do 5 hits combo. You can 2 cycle this guy. It's not super easy. I think you might be able to 1 cycle him. But it's... I don't think it's easy. At least I never managed to do that. So, now I'm gonna get another important item here. I'm gonna get this metal here. Oops, okay. Uh, this is the shock absorber for zero. And this, the reason that this item is, that Im is super important is because it cancels all the knockback that we get from, from, up, from any damage that we take. So it's super useful. So now we have Yeti. Uh, if you guys were expecting a Street Fighter reference in this game, this guy is all about it. He literally sure you can. And we don't want to be hit by his ice, because they will actually freeze us and we would have to change characters. Okay, that's not good. Okay, he, he did a lot of shurikens there. Not not very ideal. But that's what we that's what we we got. <coughs> anyway, mission complete. So we are now heading to the Optic Sunflower stage. Which is gonna be the final Maverick stage that we're gonna be facing. But before that, I'm gonna be... I'm gonna go to the shop. And I'm gonna get that item. That we just... that we just collected, so... And also on top of that, uh, I cannot get more health to X. Oh, rip. X is gonna be super weak, but it shouldn't be a big deal. So now we're gonna we're on the final Maverick stage, and this stage has a lot of challenges that we need to finish. And each stage is gonna give us a ranking based on how good we play that stage, and the ranking depends on like. How many enemies have you killed? How fast did you finish the level? If you didn't die, if you die, you lose a rank almost immediately. 
So, in this level, essentially, you actually need to... If you're playing 100%, you literally need to revisit the stage twice. Because you can... To get the sub-tank in this level, we need to get all the... All the... All the S ranks. I think it's actually S ranks. I don't remember. We need to get the best race in every level. Besides one. So, if we ace the levels, we're actually going to get another item, which in the speedrun is kind of useless. Which is an item that gives you metal when you're walking. So now in this level here, I hope I get a good RNG here. Okay, really good. Oh my god, that was really good. Middle is the best pattern that he can give to us. And I can fly over everything. The little guy right here is always consistent. We just need to jump. And spin. Oh, okay. I think I didn't spin early, but that should be okay. As long as I can keep my S rank, it should be fine. So yeah, uh, the elevator is going to go up every time that we that we finish a level quickly because it's increasing the rank. So that's pretty much how this level works. However, actually waiting on purpose in a level. It's not worth it. Because the elevator only takes like one to two seconds to, to rise, so... It's not really worth it. So now we have this challenge here. This one is really easy. However, the upcoming... There is a specific level in this specific section in this level that is like one of the most one of the hardest sections for me. It's really easy to die there, but I have spike wards, so it should be fine. There you go, that's you. The seconds right there. I'm gonna be a little bit careful here to not die to the spikes. Okay, there we go. We didn't die to the spikes, so that's great. So we're now gonna be facing the dragon, which is the final challenge of this area. Also, you can actually die in this level if you go all the way to the border of the train. Which I almost did on accident. Now we're gonna get all of the medals there. Also, there is an easter egg here. If you get an S rank in all levels, and you have a Mega Man, uh, if you have a command mission save on your memory card, you actually fi fight Cutman. So now this boss fight here, we can actually skip a couple cycles of him. If we manage to do enough damage. Kinda why we also wanna have the... The shock absorber upgrade as well. So now I wanna be careful here. Do not get hit by the laser. This laser deals a lot of damage. We don't wanna get hit by that thing. A couple more hits and we should be good to go. Okay, I, I tried to hit him with the spear, but it didn't didn't work. The hitbox is really not that forgiving. Okay, now we finish all the eight main Mavericks. Uh, and now we are on the... Uh, now we are on the final level. Not, not the final level, but the final 
gauntlet of levels. And before that, we have just a little bit more game. Also, I'm gonna upgrade zero health because we need more health, of course. We always do. Health is important. So now we are going to the elevator. The elevator, uh, Jacob Elevator, is one of the most, one of the slowest stages in the game because it's literally a, an auto scroller. But the music is really good, so I'll give a shout out to that. So, yeah, enjoy the music, I guess. But at this level, there's really nothing to talk about here. Other than we need to kill the enemies as fast as possible. There isn't really much. You can literally do this level single-handed as well. But yeah, th this is probably one of the the most scariest, the, the worst, the world's scariest elevator, I must say, because there's barely any space. Also, yeah, this is a space orbital elevator. Because in the game lore, we are actually going to space. Also, I just realized that I forgot to buy a sub tank. But with the amount of health we have right now, it shouldn't be a huge issue. But I'm gonna buy a sub tank at the end of the game, like before the final boss. Just to make sure. Yeah, we're just gonna spin here. And now we're gonna fly. Look at him go. Hero is going to space. Yeah, and I mean, why do we even need the elevator anyway? When Zero can literally fly, right? It's kind of... Kind of weird, but yeah, we have to follow the game rules sometimes. So now we have Vava. I'm gonna... When Vava starts his second phase, I'm gonna go flying. And bye-bye, Vava. We're gonna go back to space. And we're only going back... When he stopped, when he stopped attacking, basically. So we have plenty of time. So uh, at any moment, zero will go down. Oh! 
There we go. That was Vava. And yeah, that boss fight is really easy. All things considered. So now we are heading to the boss to the refights. And I would say that X8 might have the uh might have the slowest. Not necessarily I mean then the refights in this game are really slow because there is no way for us to skip the boss attacks. Unfortunately, we cannot skip any of the pinch attacks. So the refights in this game end up being very, very slow. So it's basically gonna be the same. We're gonna do the same stress that we did before. Pretty much. Okay. And be careful with this attack right here, but again, it's literally the same. There isn't much. This attack is easy to dodge as it is. There you go. <laughs> he had zero. And... Oh my gosh, that 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 might have been an amazing time. <laughs> Your husband discovered buying zero before it was even a thing. Wonderful. <laughs> Thing is, yeah, I only knew about the flying zero glitch. Because of the speedrun. Okay, really bad RNG here. But again, there isn't much we can do. It's literally RNG. The game doesn't want to give us to give it to us, so. There we go. Be good so far. Uh so now let's see. I don't usually remember the order. Like <laughs> it, it just I, it just goes with the flow when I do refight, so sometimes I have no idea which boss is which. But yeah, Mantis right here is gonna be a different fight because we didn't really fight him using the spear. They're gonna have a different... I think mean, it's a little bit faster, right? Because we can double hit him. So it doesn't really matter that much. Also, <laughs> it's not a broomstick. <laughs> uh, it, it, it's kind of, I mean, it, it's very close to one. <laughs> oh my, oh, okay, okay. Uh, let, let's focus on the run, not on the broomstick. <laughs> but it, it, it's a, it's a glaive. Okay. Not too bad. Just a couple more hits to go. There you go. <clears throat> now I just have a couple more boss fights to go. Just the right side in the middle. Again, the boss fight in this game... They are really, really slow. So, 
This boss fight here is not really that worth to talk about, really. Uh, we need to do two hits. Two spinning hits. And then we hit him with a normal attack. We do that pretty much all in all cycles. And I missed one. So... Yeah, but... It's not a big deal. And there we go. That's fight. Yeah, really, really quick fight. Now we have the panda again. Let's see if the panda doesn't try to hug us. We don't want to hug. Okay. No hugs. Oh my god, he hugged. There we go. One hug, not too bad. So, considering all this... The situation here i'm gonna get some help because we never know we just never know also we have the moon on the background there beautiful okay that was a really good fight so far There we go. A really good fight. Yeah, we only have one more. I, I don't think I need more health. Let's see. If this boss fight goes wrong, I'm gonna get more health. But, uh, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, there's a little bit of bad luck there. Yeah, that's uh that's really bad luck. Okay, that's not too bad. Also, uh, I just almost soft locked. You can actually get stuck if you fly like that. However, you can use a double attack to, to unstuck yourself, kinda. <clears throat> so, yeah, I, I, I almost killed the run <laughs> right there. So now everything is gonna explode, but we are not gonna go down. We're gonna fly over the ceiling, and we're just gonna dash over those things. And there you go, we are at the boss, and this is the final boss. Y your guy might be asking, oh, this is the Mega Man X game, right? Uh, of course, Sigma is the final boss. If anyone guessed that so Sigma is the final boss, you would be right. He's the final boss. Very unexpected. Also, he is weak to the spinning attack. So, yep. <laughs> really easy fight. Really, really easy fight. But, wait. He's not actually the final boss. Something is wrong here. He was actually a clone all along. That was not a real Sigma. Oh well, I guess we have more game to do then. This is not the final boss.
So now uh, I'm gonna get some sub tanks. Because why not? Which one is the sub tank actually? I don't know which. Did I really got the sub tank somewhere? Uh. Oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Uh, let, let's fill the sub tank. Just to make sure that we don't mess up. <clears throat> we have everything here, so there's no way that this can go wrong. But if it goes wrong, we can just go and drink a sub tank and everything will be alright. I, I, I hope. So, now coming up, we're gonna be flying in over the moon. Of course, because moon gravity. And when we pass that second flame, when I want to go down. Okay, there we go. So now I have Vava again. Once again, we are fighting him. I'm gonna manipulate him to step on the floor. And now I'm gonna set up for a two cycle here. I'm gonna do four hits. And then I'm gonna use the ice. And that will do just enough damage to make Vava die in two cycles. So there you go. Now he's dead. If you just hit him normally, you would have to... You have to wait three cycles, basically. So we skip a cycle. So now we have a bunch of Sigma clones here. That we can actually kill them all because we have the weakness. I'm gonna get this health here. Hopefully it'll be safe here. Careful to not get hit by those big guys. Also, we now have the door. This door is actually loading. So... It's literally loading the next area. Because the game doesn't really expect us, expect us to be that fast. So... Okay, now we're gonna fight Sigma. Sigma is a little bit messed up from the previous games. And now we're gonna force us to change characters. Okay, that's not good. There we go. I had to switch over to zero, otherwise X would die because I I wasn't sure. And yeah, that that's actually a big difference for hard mode. Also, this would be actually GG if you were playing on easy mode. <laughs> By the way, that's one of the differences. We wouldn't face this boss fight if we were playing on, on easy. So now we have Lumine. Lumine here is a quite interesting boss fight because he now has all the powers, all the haploid powers that we just fought. So, he can use every power at will. However, this boss fight is pretty much scripted. We can skip a couple phases if we do enough damage. Because each phase is actually scripted based on how much health he has. So, if we do, if we do more damage than the game expects us to do, he might even skip up a phase entirely. Which is very cool. I think I'm doing a good job so far. I, I literally skipped an entire phase. Great. Okay, that, that was really good. That was a really good fight.
I cannot even do a fight like this when I'm just normally playing without talking. So great. So now we have another, uh, another similar boss fight here. Uh, this boss fight is kind of the same. We want to deal a lot of damage to this boss before he changes faces. Because his faces actually depend on how much health he has. Okay, that was really good so far. Really good. I'm just gonna use a sub thing right here. Because why not? Let's get full health. So, if we do enough damage to him, this is the, going to be the only attack that we're gonna be seeing. Hopefully. Okay, there we go. So now we're gonna have Paradise Lost. So I'm gonna play it safe here. I'm gonna kill him with a double attack. And the timer is going to be as soon as he starts floating. So one, two, three. And... Alright, it's over. Now it's gonna be time as soon as he, as he explodes. And... Time. Okay, a little bit overestimate. Uh, it, it actually happens, I think. <laughs> I submitted a really... A little bit of a close estimate right here. Maybe a, a very confident one, but... At the end of the day, it, we almost made it through. So, no biggie. <clears throat> so, that was... That was Mega Man X8. And that was the end of our Mega Man block. So, uh, I hope everyone enjoyed the run. And uh, again, I, well, I'm i also going to be back with Mega Man at some point, I think. It's probably on a weekend. Uh, I, I, I mean, yeah, it, it, it's going to be in the next, is it next Saturday? Yeah, next Saturday. Okay. I'm going to be back with another Mega Man 8, but it's not going to be the X. It's going to be the normal one. <laughs> this time it's gonna be the classic so i hope everyone is enjoying the marathon and again the run is over but the marathon is not over yet there's a lot of runs there's a lot of days so i hope everyone enjoyed and i'll see you guys